There are certain diseases that essentially it's really good to get research and data over large populations, but yep. there are certain conditions, um, genetic conditions and others, that mm -hmm. it's a small population that have this, and it's right. really hard to gather the amount of data um, that you would need to make advancements in medicine and other things on that. And so one of the things you said is that AI and the modeling we can do off that right. can actually allow us to see it over larger populations than maybe we could in real life, and that that could advance uh, well medication, treatments, and anything on that, right? Right. So how do you feel like AI can improve treatments? So one of the problems, if you have a, a condition that causes a very common symptom, if you have a disease that causes fever and cough, well, so many things cause fever and cough, that figuring out that there's one particular one that could be treated is very difficult. Same thing, a lot of times people care, you know, have headache. Headache, 85% of Americans have headache at one time or another. Uh, maybe you, have, you feel like your thinking is not a little off. Well, telling the difference between very off and a little off cannot always be that easy to do. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you have those vague symptoms, then the actual underlying thing may be hard to spot because it's hard to tell who's what. But an AI can look at you know, the medical record across uh, you know, 40 health systems and pull all that and aggregate it and say, of the subset of people who have these symptoms, we notice that this is a group or that is a group. Uh, that might respond you know, better or seems to be responding better. And it can then be a signal to do a more disciplined kind of study. Uh, and I think there are a whole bunch of insights like this that are going to come uh, across many disease processes, but certainly within the brain. If there's an environmental factor driving something like Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, other neurodegenerative diseases, uh, it's probably gonna spot it before any human researcher is going to spot it. So I'm really looking forward to that 